In this tutorial, we will show you how to use the power supply tester that is included with your power supply. This tester is a simple jump starter that will perform a simple test to see if the power supply will power on or not. The plastic housing has a dedicated pin loop that connects to the power on wire and a ground wire to complete an electrical loop. This tricks the PSU into thinking it is connected to a motherboard. Your PSU will not turn on unless these two wires form some type of continuity. For this demonstration, we will be using a Seasonic Prime Gold 1200 watt power supply. To use your power supply jump starter, please follow these simple steps. Step 1. Turn off your PC and flip the power switch on the back of the PSU to O for off. Step 2. Unplug the power cable from the PSU. Step 3. Start disconnecting all of the cables you have connected to your PSU, leaving only your main ATX18 plus 10 pin cable installed. Step 4. Start by examining your main ATX24 pin cable and locate the clip. Afterwards, take your power supply tester and locate the notch where the clip on your 24 pin cable can attach to. Step 5. Attach the power supply tester to the main ATX24 pin cable. It should fit right in and when you hear a little click, you will know the clip has attached itself securely. Step 6. Plug in your power cable. Step 7. Face the power supply grill side up and flip the power switch back onto the I position in the back of your PSU. Step 8. The fan on the power supply should spin on indicating there is power flowing into the power supply. If the fan is spinning and then stopping immediately, please check the back of the PSU to check if the hybrid mode is on or not. Toggle this switch and the fan should spin continuously. Since there is no load to the power supply, in hybrid mode, the fan will stay off. If the fan does not spin at all, it could mean your unit is defective. In this case, we would highly recommend you contact Seasonic via email or live chat for further troubleshooting. Or, you may visit Seasonic.com to start your RMA process.